Hey guys, my name is Sierra. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I'm currently a first year nursing student and I'm in my third term of nursing school. This is my last term of the year. I'm currently in spring term and I'm in my first week of school right now and I have a lot going on. I'm taking pathophysiology two, pharmacology two, and acute illness one. And I thought it would be fun and productive <laughs> to bring you guys along and show you how I'm going to plan for this term and stay organized with all of those classes because there are a ton of assignments, reading, homework, exams, quizzes, tests. I have, there's a lot going on and I really want to make it a goal to stay organized and to not procrastinate and to soak up any of the extra time I have this term to just relax and enjoy myself because that is a rare commodity in nursing school. <laughs> So I have my planner with me here. I have some pens, highlighters, sticky notes, and then I have my computer right here. I'm going to pull up my school schedule and just go through all of my assignments and show you guys how I'm going to plan for the term. Oh, ah. hi. Do you want to say hello? Her name is Callie. Callie, say hi. This is Callie. Do you want to say hello? Okay, I gotta get to work, Callie. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Okay, so here is my planner. I got this off of Amazon and I can link it below if anybody is interested, but it's just a very basic planner. I put the stickers in myself. So it was just this, hi, okay. <laughs> It was just this um, paper brown, and then it has this plastic cover over it. So I put the stickers inside, and what I really like about this planner is, well, the truth is I retired my old planner that I got from TJ Maxx because I just like things to be kind of plain. I don't know if I'm the only one in this, so I can actually decorate it and make it exactly how I want it. So one thing I really like is there's no dates in this planner. For example, if I don't use this during the summer because I won't be in school, I'm not wasting any paper. I like how the weeks are divided up here and I love writing on graph paper so I can really organize like to-do lists and tasks that I need to get completed. Also in this is an actual full month calendar, which I really like as well. And I can just label it and make it exactly how I want to. So let's get started. So basically what I'm doing here is, this is one full week of school. Excuse my cat, she's talking right now. And I'm just gonna fill in all my school in red and highlight it with pink, just because that really stands out to me. And this is obviously the most important stuff going on in my life right now. So I have a cute at nine and that day and then i have farm at 9 a.m have a lunch break and then i have patho at 1 p.m and then i'm just going to look on my computer at the assignments that i have this week so it looks like on The 23rd, I have a patho quiz. And then on the 25th, I have a patho case study. I'm only writing my patho assignments because that's actually all that's on my calendar right now. I have to go into my syllabus for each class and actually see the other assignments because they haven't been uploaded to the calendar yet because it's only the third day of school. Yeah, so far this is what I have. So I finished up the weekly section that I wanted to get completed in this planner. So this has the graph paper and then Monday through Sunday. I only did five weeks because 
it just makes more sense for me to do that right now. There are 10 weeks in my term in my program and a lot can change in a couple weeks. A lot can change in a day. So I don't wanna get way too ahead of myself. So I did the first half of the term and then around week four or five, I'll complete the second half of the term. So just show you guys what I did. So this is week one, week two, week three, four, and five and basically I kind of color coordinated everything so things that are work for me I have them in blue and then school I have in red and pink and then for things that I need to get completed or just like events or something like that I have it in the orange and then on this side I have a little to-do list I always have a to-do list every week of little things that I need to get done that aren't necessarily school related and then I have my school to-do list. So right here I just have like a brief description of like the assignments that are due. And then here I have more information of my school assignments that are due. And then I have the little check boxes so I can cross them off because, well, it always feels good to cross something off your list. You know what I mean? Um, and so yeah, that's basically what I did for all of these. I put my appointments in purple. I have a couple appointments on week three. And then yeah wasn't able to put as much information as I wanted in this right now because I actually haven't had class yet. I've had clinical, but my classes start tomorrow and then the next day. We haven't actually been able to speak with our instructors yet to get more information about certain projects and assignments. And honestly, a lot of stuff isn't even available on my computer right now on the calendar. Like we can't even open certain assignments. So I know the instructors are gonna speak with us about that tomorrow and the next day. So I'm gonna be able to add a lot more later. And like, for example, I don't even know my pathophysiology reading assignments, but I know there's a lot, but I can't find it online. So when I find that, I'll put that in as well. So now I'm going to work on the monthly calendar. These are just nice if you just need like a brief overview of what is going on. Obviously I really like going in depth like this, but this is really nice just to jot down things super quickly. So I'm gonna get started on that. Oh, I'll show you guys the weeks in a little bit more detail because I don't know how well you're able to see that on my camera. All right, so here it is in a bit more detail. Work, school, things that I wanna get done, and then my to-do list and my school list. So those are chapters that I have to read, different things that I need to get done, and I'm gonna cross those off when I do them. But like I said, there's a lot of assignments that I don't know just yet, so I don't really have all this is filled out because I know there's a lot more, but obviously I will find out more information in class because I don't even actually know like the date of my midterms and my finals yet, but I know we'll find that out soon. So yeah, this is what I have so far for this. have my monthly calendar completed for April. Like I said, I color coordinated everything. <laughs> That's because it makes it more fun. I have all my classes written down, work, days that I want to upload on YouTube, just so I'm more active on YouTube and can share with you guys more of my experiences this term with nursing school. I have my appointments. I have my little earth there. <laughs> And then, oh yes, don't forget. So I have my volunteer hours and then my remediation hours that have to be completed by the end of the term. And I need to constantly remind myself of those because I can get lost in school and forget that those take a lot of time. So yeah, this is my monthly calendar. I'm gonna start on May, but I'm thinking I might take a break right now because I've been going at this for a while and I just wanna have class and get more information from my instructors before I keep filling this out, you know? <laughs> Anyways, I hope this video was insightful or at least inspired you to organize for this period of school or life or whatever is going on with you. Happy April. I'm so happy that it's finally getting warmer outside and it's lighter later. It's the best time of the year is coming up. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all the support. I really hope you guys are having a great day or night. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe because chances are you'll like the future videos I put out because they're all nursing related. So 
yeah again thank you guys so much and i will see you guys very soon bye